Daddy's Redneck Workshop here. Now, today we got to do. Uh, we got to put this beam up there. See how I'm putting these rafters up over here? Now I'm actually supporting these rafters on that wall, and I I don't trust that wall anymore. And I can throw it right now because you know it's coming down. It's crumbling. Now you see on this side over here, you see I've got those concrete uh, footings there, and then I've got the the uh, four by fours, and and they're holding up that side of the wall. That's that's what it should be. Now on this side, what I got to get is I've got to get the same sort of deal here, but this extra heavy beam, I've got to put it up there so that it can support you know not only this, but it's got to support the wall on the garage. And what I'm basically basically gonna do is push that up. You see, I got to push that up and then kind of squish up even higher to take some weight off of this wall, push that up even tighter, and then put the pillars underneath this thing. So, what I got to do today basically is get that, this uh, beam, get it up there. And uh, <clears throat> I ain't got no equipment really to do that. If I had like 12 guys, I could do it. Now that beam is probably 200 pounds or more. It's heavy. So I can't just go, ugh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me up a redneck rig with a little redneck crane and the whole bit. And here I'll show you how we're going to do that in a little bit. And, you know, you, you got to think of be a little innovative if you're a redneck because, you know, what do you do if you're a city fella? You just go, well, I'll go down and hire me a crew, and then, you know, and then you pay them a whole lot of money, and they get it done, maybe kind of like you want it or not, and the whole mess, you know, and so no, I'll just do it myself, but doing it yourself, you got to think a little bit, and that's what society is really lacking today, think a little bit, so I'm going to think a little bit, build a little bit, it's going to take me a little more time, but by the time you call a contractor and he gets out here, Taking up the time anyway. So, step one, as you can see, I have got these uh, pieces of wood on top of those uh, metal supports because I don't want to drop that board right in there. So, step one is I got to put that uh, that beam on that support to get it in place to start hoisting it up. So, I'm going to pick it up now. This thing's heavy. I had to carry it over here and I, I, I swear that thing's 200 pounds maybe a little more because I could just barely hold on to it you know walking like a penguin so here goes <clears throat> one end should only be half the weight so here we go <sighs> okay now I gotta go to the other end pick it up over there <sighs> Yeah, okay, that'll work. Next step is I gotta build that little rig that I'm gonna have to make to hoist it up in place and push it up there and then put the uh, 4x4s under it. So, let's start there and get to it. Okay, now, what I got here is uh, the way I'm going to jack this thing up and hold it in, in position. Now, if you can imagine, what I'm going to do, say uh, this is a 2 by 4 for the moment. What I'm going to do is get the beam up a little ways. I hope you can see behind that ladder. And once I get, say I get the beam up this high, then I put this you know, right here and screw it in to hold it this high until I can get it up the next increment. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. So how am I going to get it up there increment by increment? I guess what I, one of the obvious things is 
I can pick this up, you know, and uh, I can move it, but you know, I don't, I don't want to trust the ladder with me and this on it. And also, when I get that high, I'm, I'm pushing overhead, and that's kind of dangerous, you know. Physiologically, I'm not a young man anymore, and I don't want to take a chance on, uh, you know, breaking something. So, what I got to do is make a sort of a redneck crane that will take a few minutes to put together. But the idea is, I can easily lift it and hold it in position while I hold it in position there and then reposition the crane again to lift it up another notch and so forth. So that's what I'm going to do. So the next part, I'm going to build that little crane and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, <clears throat> there's my jerry-rigged crane. Now let me show you here what we're going to do. Let me show you how this works. Now you see, it's not completely done yet, but now I got these posts sitting on the ground. And the ground, you know, the ground is, they're solidly on the ground there. Now, and I got it attached up there with one screw, and I had to make an extender here because these boards wouldn't reach all the way to the top. But they're only attached up at the top to keep them from flopping around. Now the point is, what you do, I'm going to put two or three of these up there in different spots. But what you do, you see, you put a board in here, and you lower it down like that, and then you attach it, and then you go like this. See how that ends picking it up? You can pick it up a foot, maybe a, two feet at a time that way. And then what you do is you secure it. And I'm going to put another board right here to basically, you know, to tack it to, once I get it in place, to tack this one to to hold it in place. And then move on to the next set. Now i got to make another one of these down there because I have to go up evenly. But anyway, this is my homemade crane. I know it looks like hell, but you know it's going to work. And that's the point. Is it going to work or is it going to look nice? This is going to work. I'll show you here in just a minute as soon as I get the other one built. And uh, we'll jack this thing up a uh, foot at a time until we get to the top. Okay. We got the rig about set up. Now, what I got here is there's the fulcrum, there's the lever. And right now I've got it kind of just sitting there, held on right there, up there. Now for the first couple of times, what I'm going to have to do is use a rope to lift this up. Now I think I'll be able to lift it up maybe a foot, maybe eight inches at a time. But if we can lift it up at all, hey, it's a success. So, because I'm going to have to lift it up, I'm going to have to use a rope. When I push it up, I'll probably put a board under it to push. But for now you got to use this rope, so here we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, now we don't need to lift it up very high to start with. I just want to lift it up some so that we can see how this works. So here we go. Let's put this in place. up six or eight inches but it's something. Let's try to get it up just a little more. Uh, square knot. Now we'll try it one more time. See if we can jack it up another three or four inches.
that. We've uh, moved it about a foot and a half. So what we do is we do that and we jockey it up all the way up like that on both ends until we get it to the top. And then when we get it to the top, then we can cut that uh, four by four to the right size by measuring exactly how far to the top it is. And then we can uh, slip it under there and jam it in really good and we got it. So that's the drill. That's what we're going to do the rest of the day. I'm telling you that this is getting a little dicey. It's getting a little scary for me because that's a lot of weight up in the air, and got to be very, very careful. It's only got about three inches to go on this side. That's all it needs. Let's get that one up there. I got that one all the way to the top. Now I've got to do this last one down here. Ran out of film while I was doing that one. Uh, filled up the video uh, memory. But anyway, we'll get this one here. So here we go. We got it. Now, now since we're up there, what we need to do is uh, put in the 4x4 post, measure exactly how tall they've got to be, cut them just right, force them in. Oh. 